okay so let's take a look at how to use os query on ubuntu so basically the package os query allow you to get some of the system information and use sql like query to extract that data as you can see here select name path process id from process where on disk set to zero and it will return you the information like this right so this comes in handy for those who are into devops or into server admin who want to use sql like queries to fetch such data right so what we'll do is we'll try to install this so if you go to osquery.io you can click on downloads button and then you can find the package in tarball format simply click on the button and dot tape can be downloaded similarly you can also take a look at alternative options like adding the app repository you can also see if we have snap options so we can go to snapcraft and then go for os query most likely that package may not be there because someone needs to maintain it on this store as well now coming back to apt option here you see we have to add these options in our terminal so make sure to open terminal and let's add in first line let's paste it use tab to go to the end of line now next line is basically we are adding apt key for this package then we will refresh right and then next thing let's add repository and let's see if it gets added right so as you can see this is the repository os query packages on amazon aws right next thing we will have to run sudo app get update so that everything loads properly if, if anything needs update it will show us that right now next thing let's clear this and come back to final command which is sudo apt dash get install os query now if we go to terminal paste the command hit enter now there you see we have around 18 mb of package that will be downloaded and also we will have to check whether we have it installed or not so let's clear this and here we will type in let's say os query ctl start os query d okay so it seems like i got something with typo right so using tab it just repeated one more okay so i need to use sudo so sudo and then os query stl start then os query d right and then hit enter let's see what it shows it has started the service so os query ctl status os query d and here you see our os query is running i can come out of this using ctrl c clear this now what we can do is simply type in os query i and here you see 
it will give me this SQL like prompt where I can type in the commands right so let's say if I choose dot help it should show me the help commands right so all the possible help commands so select from all table exit dot exit is there right and then comes let's see dot table and you see all the system processes added into table and can be accessed through dot table right so let's go and let's see if clear works here so clear doesn't work so let's exit okay so what's the command for exiting dot exit exist exits this program so let's use this control c clear this now let's use os query i then hit enter now let's use select or maybe you can just use some of the simple like physical cpu right so we can get cores from system underscore info and use semicolon at the end and here you see my host name as you can see devnami and then cpu cores are set to two so query like this is basically uh, what os query is all about turning your system data and processes into table and accessing that data so you get the idea how to install os query and how to run those commands